The night was cold and dark but the fire kept me warm, as I lie next to it looking at the stars. I found it hard to sleep with the forest's many red eyes staring back at me. The forest, it feels alive. Ready to consume anything that strays too far into the thick undergrowth. Nonetheless soon morning will come, and, I will be on my way. As I travel further into the forest it really starts to show its beauty. Small streams teeming with life, rocky waterfalls, flowering meadows and giant trees teeming with birds and bugs. All seems well but I can't shake the feeling I'm being followed. By what I cannot say. But where there's beauty there's always danger. As the end of the forest nears, the creatures grow silent as loud cracks of thunder echo through the trees. I hope I can make the city before the storm hits. But as I feel the first drops of rain hit my skin. I fear I am too late. Running along the forest trail, with great speed trying to beat the storm I hear the sounds of something big following me through the treetops. As I look up, I see it. I've heard stories but I, I have no choice, I must fight. The Viridian Pidgeotto. I've heard stories as a kid, from Yellow. But. I didn't think they were real. After the fight the storm died out and if I hurry I can still make the city in before dark. As I leave the forest and all its magic behind me I cannot help but think, about what wonders lie ahead. As I finally enter Pewter City I cannot help but miss the forest for all its beauty and magic. But something tells me there's more to come along the way. But today has been enough of an adventure. It's time to visit the inn, dry off, and get some rest. Until next time.